Hi guys, in today's tutorial I'll show you how to create the wavy effect that I use throughout my edits in After Effects. Let's get started. I create this effect using one of my shake presets from the AM Film Shakes pack. If you already have the pack, I'll show you how to make this effect using my preset. Then I'll also show you how to recreate the same effect manually for those who don't own the AM Film pack. The result won't be the same, but it will be very close to what I have in the pack. And just a note, you can get the AM Film Shakes pack from the link in the description. From the AM Film Shakes pack, we will be using the wavy shake effect to achieve it. First create a new adjustment layer, make sure you're at the beginning of the layer, and then apply the wavy preset to it. If you play the video now, you'll see it's just the wavy shake effect. But to make the wave last longer and cover the entire clip, press you on your keyboard. Then we will need to stretch the turbulent displace keyframes. Let's select them. Now hold alt on your keyboard, and drag the last keyframes all the way to the end of the clip. Now let's play the video. And there we go. That's the exact effect I use in my latest edits. Now let me show you how to create this effect in case you don't have the AM Film Shakes pack. Let's delete all the effects from the adjustment layer, then scroll to the beginning. Next apply the turbulent displace effect to it. Change the amount to 40. Click the stopwatch icons next to amount and evolution to add keyframes. Now scroll to the end of the clip and set the amount to 0. Then change evolution to 1 time. Let's check the effect and it's done. It looks super smooth and really cool. Now let's add a VR chromatic aberration effect to the adjustment layer to make it look even better. Set the fall off distance to 60, and enable fall off invert. Then make sure you're at the beginning of the layer, and click the aberration red and aberration blue stopwatch icons to add keyframes. Now scroll to the middle of the layer and set aberration red and aberration blue to zero. Next press U on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes. Select only the aberration keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Then open the graph editor, right click here, choose Edit Speed Graph, and create a smooth curve. Let's quickly check it and we are done. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.